Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Pokemon Red Version. In the last episode we made our way to the cult classic Lavender Town and we ended off at the Name Changer House where it does not look like any names will be changed. Our team still pretty much the same. We have our Nosy, Ducks, Kaiju, Rocco, Toxic, and Tomato. Actually, let me quick check something. I don't think you can nickname traded Pokemon. Yeah, it will, uh... You're not allowed to change traded Pokemon names. Which, it's whatever. Now, we have not been into this house. Have we? Oh, yes, we have. Um, I don't think there's anywhere... Oh, wait, no, we haven't gone in here. Hello? That's odd, Mr. Fuji isn't here. Where'd he go? Gow! What's, what's the book? Pokemon Monthly Grand Prize Drawing. The application from the form is gone! It's been clipped out! Somebody stole it! This is really Mr. Fuji's house. He's really kind. He looks after abandoned Poke and... Oh, well, this Mr. Fuji guy is kind of cool. But he's gone. Well, uh... This is the Pokemon Tower, isn't it? Oh, wonderful. I came to pray for my Clefairy. Oh. That's no good. Did you come to pay respects? Bless you. I came to pay nothing. Oh, dear. I am a channeler. The spirits are up to mischief. There's a mage. Is there anything here of value? Hello? Erected in the memory of Pokemon that have died. Hello? Wait! Wait! Blue! Why are you in here? Hey, Red. What brings you here? Your Pokemon don't look dead. I can at least make them faint. Let's go, pal. Alright, champ. Pidgeotto. Alright. To deal with that, I'm gonna throw out Rocco. That's not gonna do much. And then, we can use Rock Throw. That should be super effective. Nearly took him out. You can't whirlwind a rock, you fool! Nice. Alright, so fire type. Bring out Toxic. He's got Water Gun. Yep. Water Gun. There we go. I don't think Toxic has really high special attack. That's why we're not going to be doing a ton of damage with this. He's more of a physical attacker. That's why Horn Attack is so powerful. So be able to take him out, I think, with this hit. Yep. Nice. Hey, Toxic level up. Execute. Execute is a psychic... I think he's a psychic grass type, I think. Let's bring out Kaiju. In all honesty, I have no idea. So we're going to find out by using Ember and seeing if it's super effective. The answer is yes. Ow! You throwing rocks at me? No! Stop! Stop that. I don't know what this move is. Barrage? Alright. Come on, Blue. You gotta have an ace up your sleeve, right? Kadabra. That's a psychic type. Do I have anything good against psychic? I don't think I do. I'm gonna throw out ducks. To see if I can, like, one-shot it. With the power of cut. It failed. You fool. 
Yeah, because Kadabra's doesn't have very much HP. And Ducks is just a god. War Turtle. We'll swap in Tomato. You fool! Come here, Tomato. Absorb! You stop that. Zuck! Consume! Ow! Don't bite the plant! Oh no, he flinched! Come on, tomato! You got this! You should be able to heal, like, back a majority of the health. Yeah. He's just gonna keep lowering my defense. I just gotta make sure if he bites it, I don't flinch. Nope, I guess he's just not gonna attack. An easy dub for the squad. Nice. Good job, Tomato. Proud of you. Easy. What? You stinker. I took it easy on you, too. Yeah, hand over the money. How's your Pokedex coming, pal? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the grown-up Marowak yet. I doubt there are any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, pal. Smell ya later. Well, bye, Blue. Hi. Even we could not identify the wayward ghosts. A stealth scope might be able to unmask them. Well, that sounds like I shouldn't go any further then, since I don't think I have any Sylph scopes. Alright, well, I did not know that there was going to be a rival battle. It's been a long time, but we handled ourselves pretty dang good. So let's head into the Pokemon Center, heal up, and then be on our way to the left there. Alright. Good stuff. Onwards! To the left! Hello! What a cute, round, and fluffy Pokémon! Was that- what? Did I read that right? That didn't make any sense. Oh, Clefairy. I have a Psychic Type too, except... It doesn't really work. Um... I'm going to throw in ducks. Aha! You fool! I can't wait till ducks get Slash. So he's just going to be doing mad damage. Nice. And no, I won't. Use cut again. It's actually kind of funny, I was... Ow, ow, ow. Um, I was looking at a tier list made by a Nuzlocker about uh, Gen 1, and it turns out that uh, Farfetch'd is one of the worst. <laughs> but I mean, it does make sense. It's not... It doesn't evolve, and it just doesn't have great stats. It has good attack. That's it. That's all it has. And it doesn't really learn that am amazing moves either. I'm a rambling, gambling dude. But yeah, I'm only using it because I like Farfetch'd. Alright, so he's got a fire type. But we can counter that. We don't have a water type. However, we do have... Actually, I should see if somebody can learn Bubble Beam. I'm not actually sure the difference between Water Gun and Bubble Beam but it's probably not too crazy. I'm not sure. I think Bubble Beam does more damage. But in all honesty, I could tell you I'm not the master of water type moves. No Z leveled up. Alright. Vulpix, I will keep Toxic in. Oh, look at it. Such a cute sprite for Gen 1. 
I'm trying to figure out what fire type I'd like to use in my... Ow. In my other playthrough. Um, because obviously I have Charmander. So, won't have to worry about it this playthrough. But I'm not sure. Guess we'll have to figure it out. I was thinking maybe, uh... Rowlithy. Because that's usually a pretty good pick. Missed the big score. Give me that money. Uh, let's bring out ducks and cut. There we go. Oh, is this just like a shortcut? That's actually kind of cool. We don't take shortcuts here. We fight all the people. You need strategy to win at this. Pfft, you sure? Oh, God. Ah! A poison type. Um. Funny thing. Um. Let's use. Toxic. Because we did have confusion, however, we accidentally got rid of it, like in. like a dummy. So we don't have it anymore. Ouch. Don't crit. That's not fair. You can't disable me, you fool. Um, nope. Mook. I'm gonna heal Toxic here. Yeah, because Poison is weak to Psychic. That's why I have a Psychic type to be able to deal with that and also Fighting types as well. Let's try Body Slam, see how much damage that does. That's about the same. But yeah, the reason why I have a Poison type is to know you other Poison types. That's pretty much why. Nice. And I'll just keep Toxic in as well. Gotta get him powered up so he can learn all his moves before I evolve him. That's the plan, at least. But And once he's evolved, he's gonna be a force to be reckoned with, because Nido King is just pretty great. Aha! And he was paralyzed, but he got to attack anyways. Great. <laughs> gotta love that one... I think it's one in four chance to attack. Hey, level up for Toxic. It's not logical. Silence, nerd. You! School is fun, but so are Pokemon. I'm skipping school because I said so. Koofing. Get out of here, Toxic. Smoog! Body slam! Ouch! Body slam! Aha! Ow! There we go. Easy. I'll stay with school. Hello. I like Nindora, so I like to collect them. Sounds great. Hey look, it's Nindora. If only I had... <sighs> uh, let's... Let's get Tomato in here. Ouch. Don't crit me. Um, let's do Absorb. I doubt this is going to do any damage. Yeah. Um, let's quick uh, use a Super Potion on Toxic. Heal him back up.
And then I'll swap Toxic back in. Ouch. Alright, let's use Horn Attack. She is going to be quite tanky. But she can't be that tanky because one, I mean, she's not evolved at all, so. But Nindorn is much uh, harder to defeat because of her bulkiness. Also, why is her nose like that? That's weird. Guys, she's bulkier, I swear. I didn't almost take her halfway down by just using one attack. There we go. Toxic just running house today. Nice. Why? Why? Meowth is so cute. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meowth. Now I think about it, Meowth must be normal type because I don't think dark types are in... Gen 1. So that means that I'm gonna pull out Rocco. Um, I'm gonna use Dig because why not? Stop screeching! Dig does damage! I'm now going to use Dig again. Ouch. Dang, crit for 8 damage. Goodbye! <clears throat> now I'm just gonna steamroll him. Graveler's just too good. Also because Stab Dig is really dumb. Goodbye. Very balanced. Wonderful. And Rocco gets the level up. Nice. Meow. Hello. We must look silly standing here like this. I was wondering what was going on. She's got so many... Is, are they all Pidgeys? Oh, no. Um, it's actually... Well, let's pull out Rocco. He doesn't resist flying. However, he does have Rock Throw, which is strong against flying. Also, Gust is normal type for some reason, and I still don't know why. He does resist quick attack, which is always a win, and Rock Throw is never going to hit. Because why not? Be oh, no. Come on. Please. You've got to be joking. One sand attack is just enough to prevent him from ever using any moves. It's just the sand. It's so sandy. Because it should one-shot almost everything that he fights here. Rat tat up. No, I'll just... Um, I'll use Bide. Let's see if this works. Nope, that didn't do anything. Oh, wait, right here. Unleashed energy! It didn't do anything! Awesome. Ah, uh, that was Tackle? Okay. Hmm, Nindoran. I'm gonna swap in Toxic. Body slam. One shot. Easy. Meowth. I'll swap in Rocco. Prepared to get dug. Yoink. And goodbye. 
Nice. Pikachu. Um, actually, Tomato should resist Electric. Is Absorbs... That's not going to do anything. Nope. I don't think it's super effective, though, is it? No. It's just normal. But it's not going to do any damage to me. Uh, unless it crits, obviously, but... Electric types scare me sometimes, so... Gotta be safe. Uh, it's gay, yeah, it's paralyzed, of course. Love it. Can I get away with this one last attack here? Yes. Good job, tomato. Look what you did. Don't yell at me. What the? What is this? Oh, there's a checkpoint here. Hello, gambler. Alright, let's roll the dice. I also like to gamble while standing in a field. Water types. Water types are a tomato's best friend. You fool! Get absorbed! Thanks for watering the plant. Time to consume! The only problem is that <laughs> Absorb doesn't have a very high power. <laughs> we gotta have a uh, Mega Absorb. I think that's what it's called, yeah. I think that's in Gen 1. We'll keep Tomato up. Stop that. No! Fully paralyzed! Come on, Tomato! You got this! Oh, no, nope, he's fully paralyzed. Do I have a paralyze heal? No, I didn't buy any. <laughs> Dang it! Stop lowering my speed! I think Bubble lowers speed just normally, right? Maybe it's a chance. There we go. That Paralyze might wear off at some point. Hey, level up. Ooh, Poliwhirl. I don't think... Poliwrath, I don't know if anybody has a Poliwrath. Absorb. I think he's pretty tanky. Or at least a bit more. Dang it. Come on, tomato. Power through. You got this. Nearly. There we go. Tomato clutches. Nice. Drat. Game up short. Underground path, Celadon City to Lavender Town. Alright. The department store in Celadon has a great selection. So this takes you to Celadon City. Not really sure where that is. You look good at Pokemon, but how's your Kim? I don't know. I took chemistry. Ooh, electric types. Apparently this is just the tomato show today. Water types, electric types. That actually did a lot of damage. Ah! 
Stop lowering my defense. No. Ouch. Stop it. Tomato. Come on. Tomato needs to learn some more powerful moves. The reason why I have uh, Nosy in front right now is to try and learn a psychic damaging move since I lost confusion. Hey! Level 20. Um, coughing, I'm gonna swamp out for toxic. Body slam! Nice. Ouch! There we go. Nice. Nice, Toxic. Level 27. Uh, Volt Orb. Almost out of absorb. Yeah, Sonic Boom does a lot of damage, but I don't even know what type that is. It might be normal type. I don't know. Because it's not... It would be resisted if it was electric. Ouch. Stop that. No! Stop it! Stop! Stop it! Absorb! The moment of truth! Get that last one off! Come on! No! Last one! Oh god! Come on, tomato! Clutch it! Clutch it! Clutch it! You got this! Yeah! <laughs> tomato! Uh. Magnemite's a flying type, I think. I think so. I'm about to find out. Um, let's do Rock Throw. I think he's a flying type in Gen 1, because Steel type doesn't exist. No, I don't know what he is. Rock, rock Throw just has a ton of stab anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Ow! Meltdown. I'm gonna assume that I can't go through here, like most checkpoints. I'm unguarded. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh wait, right there. The road's closed. Yep. So we gotta head to Celadon City. Wherever that is. Nice. Hello. I heard a sleepy Pokemon appeared near Celadon City. Underground path Celadon City to Lavender Town. Ooh. We're in the big city now, boys. Heal him up. Alright. So looking at our team. Noji's level 20. Duck's level 30. Kaiju level 25. Rip Kaiju. Doesn't really get a lot of screen time. But. Eventually. We'll get there. Rocco 26. Toxic 27. Tomato 25. Alright folks, I think we're going to end things here. We made it to Celadon City. I assume something's waiting for us here. Maybe a new gym battle? I don't know. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one, and bye bye